Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out Melody Sauce from Eva Beat. This uses artificial intelligence to create some really interesting melodies. Now, what I found is when you use two or more together, you get some really cool interplay between the two melodies that arise. So I figured in this video, I would just essentially redo what I did to make the track you heard in the beginning of this video. And it will obviously be different uh, just by the nature of the randomness and the artificial intelligence behind the scenes driving the melody itself. And you'll see why I can't get to where I was before unless I use one of these melody banks. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and delete this and start from the beginning anyway. Okay, so this is MIDI sauce here on the screen. If I click the menu button, I can make it a little bit bigger so we can see a little bit better. And the, the controls on this are pretty straightforward. Before we even jump into those controls, though, what I need to do is route MIDI sauce MIDI output into a different instrument. In this case, I'm using Hive. I'm actually using Hive twice. We're going to do these, this other one in a minute. But for right now, I'm going to come into this channel 7 where it says no input. I'm going to choose Melody Sauce, and then I'm going to choose Melody Sauce again, and I'm going to make sure I'm on in right here. By default, it's going to be on auto. I'm just going to choose in, and if you can't see that section, it's the I.O. button over here in the bottom right. So if I jump back into Melody Sauce, the way this works is first we choose a key, and we just want to jump into our sample and make sure we're on A minor, so C major is the relative major to A minor, so this is perfect. You can see both of those there. Uh, it's by default it's going to be on C major, so I don't need to change anything, but you do have those options here, and that just means it's going to only choose notes in that scale when it generates the MIDI for you. That's perfect. Then we have speed. We can go slow or fast, octave, pitch it down or pitch it up at octave. Add swing, triplet feel, syncopation. I'm going to leave all of that at default right now. Uh, and we can easily change those later once we generate some MIDI. But now we need to generate the MIDI. We do that by clicking one of these nine buttons here. And it works like this. We've got simple, complex, or both. And then we have light, dark, or both. So we've got the mood and how much is going to happen, the busyness of it all. Uh, of course, this is in relation to the speed over here. But for now, let's just go ahead and choose simple, dark, and see what happens. What do we get? And I actually really like that. I thought I might have to do click a few things to show you um, how to get something, but I'm already feeling that with what I have. It's a great sounding melody uh, with the patch that I've got going here. But one of the really cool things about Melody Sauce is it's going to remember that no matter what. And if I come in here and choose something else, it's going to generate a new MIDI file. However, we can generate or manipulate this particular MIDI instance, or melody instance rather, uh, in terms of speed, octave, swing, and triplet, uh, syncopation, and so on, without generating a new MIDI clip. All right, so that's very cool. Now, if I came in here and pressed complex dark, it will give me a new MIDI clip. And it, the cool thing about it, like I said, I already like this one. I can easily flip back to it by en engaging it or hitting the play button here. But to be honest, I like that one too. Let's see what it sounds like pitched up an octave. So cool. I mean, it just sounds really good. Now I can, I have a note swap. So if it's feeling a little too fluffy for me, I can hit the dark and it's going to make it a little bit darker. And if it feels a little bit too dark, I can make it light just by clicking these buttons. And you'll see that it's actually going to redo it and give me a new MIDI clip. And these are drag and drop. So if I click right there and drag it into my DAW, boom, I'll have that MIDI clip saved. You also notice if I drag and drop, it automatically mutes this so we won't get any output from it. So you're not going to double up and like, you know, break your ears. Um, but let's see what this one sounds like after I hit that note swap dark. You see how the notes have been pushed around there? One sounds a little bit more subdued, a little bit darker. Perfect. Let's leave it on there. Harmonize is actually going to just double up on the notes when they happen.
Very cool. Legato will have the notes play longer. Let's go back to that first one. And I'm going to bring it up an octave. So that's the, the gist of it. And as you can tell, it really does a good job at giving you workable or usable melodies pretty much every time. And then you have control in ways to manipulate that or add restraints on the randomness of it to get closer to what you're looking for. And then, of course, drag and drop that MIDI into your DAW and you can go well, wherever you want with it. Now, where I thought or where I think Melody Sauce really shines is when you add a second instance to a second patch and listen to the interplay between the two melodies. So I'm going to do again the setup. I've dropped Melody Sauce here. I've got Hive on this channel with a different patch. So I'm just going to choose uh, the other, the new melody sauce again, make sure it's on in, come in here, open it up. And on this one, I'm going to want just a slow kind of sparse happening or sparse melody because it's kind of like a horn sound. And I just want it to happen every now and then to accent the, the MIDI that I already have. Um, we're going to leave it there for now. We'll leave all of the rest of this the same. Again, we're already on A minor, so that's perfect. And I'm just going to come in here and choose a random one, and let's see what we got. Let's see what it sounds like. definitely feeling a simpler approach but like I said every time I click that button I'm going to get a new melody and I can do this until I have one that really works or something close to it where I can bring in the MIDI and then manipulate it from there. So maybe if I drop that one down an octave. And of course, I can always jump back into that other one and flip around that MIDI as well to see if I can make them sound better together by manipulating this one. Because I'm kind of feeling the way this low, uh, this lower pitch patch melody is flowing here on top of those drums. So maybe if I come in here and just, again, flip this one around. And remember, I can always go back to that first melody because it's saved inside of the bank. And if there's one that I really don't like, I can exit out of it. And another helpful thing is if you hover over any of these, you can see all of the different parameters that were used to generate that MIDI. And it really is that simple. I really like it. The fact that I can get a new MIDI 
just every time and it's just a click of a button essentially like i have my parameters set up for example i want it slow i want it on this octave or around this pitch range i want my swing off my triplet off syncopation on and so forth and i just keep hitting the same button and it will just endlessly generate new midi performances for me Yeah, I mean, it sounds really, really great. I need to tweak out that horn patch a little bit and make it a little bit raspier, a little bit hit, a little bit harder. But I I think you get the point here on how well these two work together. Like I said uh, a couple of times already in this video, one melody sauce in your project is going to create a great melody. Two melody sauce is going to create two melodies that play really well together and are going to give your track that next level of interest. It's going to make it more interesting to listen to if you've got some counter melody that was generated by artificial intelligence with a click of a couple buttons. So obviously, like all of these style of plugins, you're going to want to bring the MIDI into your project and take it from there, you know, loop it, make some changes, uh, remove some things, add some things. But in terms of generating ideas, Melody Sauce is definitely going to do it for you. Uh, it's available now already on PluginBoutique.com. And as usual, I'm Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.